was ready for some type zero. And yes, the release of Rem. And and that Machina guy, but also Queen. Also Queen. I'm neutral on Rem, I hate Machina, and I like Queen. So it all balances itself out. I don't even think it's an elemental relic, so in my book, zip. Oh, well, I mean, we'll find out. I'll take a look at the banners and, and you can make your own determination. Makoto? Uh, Persona? Mm, no. No, I don't. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't make the connection right away. So, uh, first of all, uh, we, do we have this mind? Is this a mind date? I think it is. Yeah, it is. It's a Final Fantasy one that I'm unsure of. So, this is, uh, this is just an ETA. This January 24th is pretty much, yeah. Um, but we will be getting a maintenance before this because this banner needs to be translated. It hasn't been yet. So the server maintenance will likely happen on Tuesday. Mm, it's true, but uh, luckily, I mean, from what I've been hearing that the Japanese record keeper is going strong. It's maintaining its numbers. What's the name of the song? Kimi no... I can't read the last two kanji. Oh, no, I don't want to look at the banners. All right, the event itself, because there is important things to... Kimi no Kyoku. There you go. Um, we do get new three new characters. Great for people who hoard their eggs like me. Uh, and two new abilities. Uh, one of which... I'm, I'm, I question its usefulness but i'm glad we have it just because we do have faith and boost but anyway the first one is graveling quad strike five star spell blade four single target earth physical damage uh i know i know certain butts that would uh, really appreciate this being added to the game mine uh uses major power black and earth orbs thank goodness i get something to use these ma major power orbs on Uh, also, Grace, 3-star, white magic, ally mind, plus 20% for 25 seconds. Uses white, non-elemental, and holy orbs. I, I still, occasionally, uh, use faith. I don't use boosts, but I'm sure there's some situations where I think of it. I mean, sometimes you do. Um, and now that we are getting... Uh, offensive white mages is being added into the game. There will be situations in which you would like to use this. Uh, Rem is the first instance of the S tier offensive white mages. Uh, so the new characters themselves, starting out with Rem. Uh, Black Magic 5, White Magic 5, Summoning 5, and Celerity 4. Celerity 4... 
useless. Uh, it's just flavor uh, because of Rem. She was a little. She was pretty quick during the game. Uh, but Black Magic Five, White Magic Five, and Summoning Five are all uh, pretty nice. She's uh, one of the most mages. 211 mind, that's good. Large WHT damage up, we already have access to those, so that's not that important. Um, WHT damage in record spheres, WHT healing? I, I guess, whatever, as long as you get 9% damage. Minor silence resist though. That's actually kind of nice. And let's see if we'll see a little further down the line if that stacks with her legend dive. Uh, Machina, Combat 5, Spellblade 5, Black Magic 3, White Magic 3. Dagger, sword, just daggers and swords. Well, you can use swords, so that's okay. Um, low attack. 203 attack. Huh. I believe it's Pinello, Ricky. I'm gonna check that. Yes, white magic abilities deal 30% more damage. And... White magic abilities deal 30% more damage. WHT attacks deal 30% more damage. Was that the same it was for Pinella? No, white magic abilities deal 30% more damage. So the WHT is better. Because white magic abilities is the ability school. WHT will also apply to soul breaks. So it's not the same. Rems is actually new. It is a cool RM name and it is fairly consistent with Pinello's character, so they did a good job on that one. Blazing Chaos, thank you very much. Um... Okay, so Makina, we went over his things. Uh, large spellblade damage up, we already... We do have access to that. Uh, that is Love's Wake, I believe it's called, for a Celeste. But yeah, that's a low attack, 203. I, I do want to check that, because I think that's equal to, like, Ramza and Shelk as the, the, the high-statted supports. Shulk 206, that's more. <laughs> uh, Ramza 206. Lockina 203. Yeah, he's just... Uh, he's got T-Rex arms. Uh, Spellblade damage up in his record dive. Unfortunate. Um, Queen, Combat 4, Spellblade 5, Celerity 5, Black Magic 3, White Magic 3, and Knight 4. Oh, Queen can use Knight 4. I think someone brought up earlier in chat that Queen would actually be an interesting uh, possibility for uh, Kraken because um, taunting is actually kind of useful in the fight. So, uh, right on. So Queen is also a Spellblade, but also Celerity, uh, I don't think that that's actually going to be relevant. I, I guess for the power chain, right? Uh, but otherwise, uh, Queen is a lightning character. Monk damage? No monk ability. <laughs> what, what in the world is going on here? I get that it's a monk sphere, but why does she have a monk sphere? That is weird. Uh, 
Uh, but at least you get sword damage up three and spellblade damage six. Better than Machina's. Ba Machina is both spellblade damage and uh, at least she gets a, a pure physical damage up three percent. It's really not much, so whatever. Uh, going into the record spheres or legend spheres, we have uh, silence resist minor and medium. And I did look at Rem's and saw more silence resist. So Rem resists silence. You cannot silence her. Because uh, then she wouldn't be able to cough all the time. Uh, but holy damage plus 9% is good. And silence, silence resist is good. Uh, blind resist and earth damage both good. Queen, double blind, and lightning damage. So everyone gets their element, and that's great. Uh, let's take a look at their legend materia. Rem gets uh, twenty or ten percent increased holy damage and thirty-five percent chance to dual cast white magic abilities. Good stuff. Machina spellblade fifteen. Good thirty-five percent chance to grant stone skin thirty percent to the user after using a spellblade ability. Oof. Oh, uh, then what is it? Let's uh, let's verify that. Oh, she just simply doesn't have monk spheres. Yeah, that's a mistake. Whatever, that's good. That means she gets probably attack or defense instead. That's better than monk spheres. Okay, so Machina has 35% chance to grant stone skin 30% to the user after using a spell blade ability. We will come to see that uh, his spell breaks, or soul breaks, are meant to work with that. I just uh, have some sincere doubts on its uh, effectiveness. Uh, so I'm thinking 30% is, even in the best situations, something that can be removed in a single turn. And Machina relies on not taking damage. So Noctis... Uh, has to keep stone skin active on him at all times to keep his buffs. Machina needs to not take damage, which is basically the same thing. Because even a single damage in excess of the stone skin will follow through and, and hurt the character. Um, and if it does, he loses his buffs. And 30% just isn't a lot. Okay, so not, not a big fan of that. Rem's Good, mocking a bad. Queen, lightning damage 10%, fine. Restores HP for 100% of the user's maximum HP and grants Queen Trance when HP falls below 10%. I find this weird. I don't think this has uh, much of anything to do with Type 0. But as far as Record Keeper mechanics go, Trance modes usually end up being pretty good. Uh, attack plus 50%. Uh, resistance, resistance minus 50%, cast speed times 2. Uh, that's good. Um, resistance minus 50% is uh, kind of a big deal. But uh, the cast speed times 2 and attack plus 50% is useful. And then we move to the banners. So, so far, it, from their legend dives only. Machina's going to need some really crazy things uh, to pull him out of the hole of that LM2. Uh, so we got oof, uh, a reversion in uh, banner format. There are only three six stars on this banner and on the second banner. 
why they decided to do this, because they did this in Japan as well. It reverted after the Onion Knight event. Uh, I, I just don't know. Um, they do have other six stars that they could have pulled into this banner to make it worth pulling on. Or just uh, shrink it to one banner. Or give nine in, you know, a six star. They just got lazy, I guess, because they were introducing three new characters. Um, all right, so first banner, uh, Rem Machina and Deuce. Uh, Rem's USB, Venom Conversion. Uh, strangely has nothing to do with Venom. Uh, 10 single target, holy, dark, white magic. Uh, <laughs> it's actually kind of interesting for the dark chain. Uh, and holy. And self high quick cast one and X mode Suzuku. Suzuku is self defense and resistance minus 15%, mind plus 50%, and gain quick cast one. This is incorrect. It is high quick cast one when hanging in peril and weakness or in peril. Uh, so that's actually really good. That is uh, basically Lightning's USB. Here is just the archetype. Uh, the prototype, sorry. So that plus her 35% chance to dual cast means that Ram is going to be shooting off holies and it's going to be doing a lot of damage and it's going to be happening very quickly. So uh, Rem actually does a lot of damage. Machina, Argentic Rapiers, a USB Awakening, 10 single target, Earth and Dark physical damage, and Earth Self Shield 2, that's, uh, I think we're calling that Dual Blink, and Awakening. So, uh, Dual Blink means that he can just blink attacks, which is handy, but probably not enough to, to make his gimmick work. And we'll see about that with Awakening, that is, where his gimmick is centered. So he gains self quick cast until receiving damage. Uh, and additionally, he casts Furious Blade, four to six, single target earth dark physical damage with a random number of hits uh, when using Spellblade abilities. Uh, so this status, Awakening, fades after he takes damage. So you're relying on this. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's no stone skin that he starts out on. So you actually, uh, unless you want, you don't care that his awakening doesn't last past two attacks, then you actually have to legend dive him to give him 30% stone skin, uh, when he uses, a chance to give him 30% stone skin when he uses, uh, spell light attacks. And those two together might be able to make awakening worth it. Uh, next up, we have Deuce's old USB, Zero Cast Time Medica with a Cure Raise and Party Stone Skin. Not that great as far as uh, healer USBs go. The Cure Raise is just pretty bad. Uh, it turns this into a Super Soul Break with uh, Zero Cast Time and Stone Skin. I believe there's actually a Super Soul Break in the game that does exactly that. Um, so Rem, we get Rem's uniform. Is that a holy gear? It is holy gear. Uh, I'm sure most of Rem's fan club agrees that her uniform is holy gear. Uh, Burst Soul Break, Siphon Delta, eight single or area of effect, holy dark white magic, and holy and self smart ether one. Not that good because the abilities that she uses, she doesn't double through them. And she uses five star abilities, which are, you know, I can see this being useful for a uh, a six star ability, but not five. Four single target, holy dark, white magic damage, self curaga. Uh, so, so Ash's first command, and it probably doesn't do as much damage as that.
It does not. It's only 9.4. Barrier conversion, self magic blink one and magic. So this doesn't even do any damage. Probably not worth it because missing one turn of damage doesn't make up for getting this. And all you're doing is giving yourself magic blink. So that's a bad command. Uh, it's just an unholy burst. There's nothing special going on here. Uh, I guess. Either you have a choice after using a burst. You use holy if you want damage. Or you use her first command if you want to give yourself some sustain. What's up, Ricky? Sixty heals about Kiraga. Isn't it? Or Kiraga's 80, 85, right? So it's Kira level. Regard it's the same exact heal as Ashes. Uh, though there is a little bit of a difference in that Rem has a high mind. Uh, because she is a she's an offensive white mage rather than a black mage. So she will be healing herself for more. Pro probably above 3,000 at least. Okay, so moving on, we have Machina's Burst Soul Break. Eight single target Earth Dark Physical Party Stone Skin 30% and Burst Mode. Three single target Earth and Spellblade 15% three and Self Stone Skin 30%. Uh, this is, again, this, this never works. Uh, Stone Skin 30% just doesn't work with these mechanics. Noctis finally gets it right, you know, months down the line with his uh, his Flash Soul Break that gives him 100% Stone Skin. But this doesn't work. <sighs> Deuce, Academia Uniform, Burst Soul Break, Concerto. Medica, H55, Kira Medica, Party Attack and Magic plus 30% and Burst Mode. Uh, this is one of the best relics on the banner. I, uh, I asked that before, and I think I was told by N. Lear that it is the same as Black Magic. Ricky. So, 1054? Anyway, uh, so Deuce buffs attack and magic on, on um, the entry of her burst. I still believe that it's the only burst that does that, or healer burst that does that, and has a zero cast on Kiraja and a Medica command. So two useful commands and a unique buff that pairs together perfectly with people like Onion Knight. Um, so that is extremely good. But also, Rem's USB is the only other thing on the banner so far that I've picked out that seems like it's worth anything. Deuces isn't bad, but only if you have reversal break. Because this could be a panic heal in a situation which you were using her. But you're not going to use her for this, you're going to use her for this. So you'd want both of them. It's kind of like an OSB. A situational addition. Uh, so entering the Legend Materia section, we have Rem's Gold Hairpin, Maiden's Love. Uh, up to medium mind, up based on number of white magic abilities used. That's awful. Uh, that doesn't sound accurate. Because it's even more... That's worse than it usually is. Yeah, it's each hit. So it, it is better than it, it's described on that list. Uh, mine plus 1% for each hit dealt with uh, white magic abilities up to 25%. Uh, the ramp up is 1% each. She doesn't have a great way to ramp it up, and it's only plus 25%. Her USB, which is what makes her worth using, is gives her plus 50% mind by itself. So you're actually not getting a whole lot of benefit from this, even, even if you are able to ramp it up quickly. 
Next up, Machina's Legend Materia Star Battle with Unearth. That's a good Legend Materia, but on a bad character. Does it make any of his stuff that looked bad any better than it was? An Earth, no. You know, he doesn't get an Earth on this, but this stinks. Party stones get 30%. That's just awful. So no. Uh, last Legend Materia, Deuce. Low increase in duration of stat buffs cast by self. Um, her burst break is a 25 second buff. That is plenty. Uh, and the bard abilities that she can cast, uh, no bard ability is actually affected by this. So, uh, no, this is pretty bad. Possibly. Useful in the future. Very, very far into the future. When we get uh, the new Torment Dungeons, which are uh, meant to be marathon-type fights. Well, at first. And probably for well after they're released. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna consider that a win for some far off theoretical reason that it could be good. Uh, Rem's dancing dagger, super soul break, don't die. Party last stand and medium re-raise. Uh, it's, it's an interesting way to get last stand, but yeah, you, you'd love to be recasting Deuce's burst soul break. There's there's no uh, no reason you wouldn't like that. Machina's Academia Uniform, I believe is Earth Armor. Small Earth damage up, so that's good. Uh, Super Soul Break, Source of Fear, Party, Resistance plus 100% and High Critical and Haste. Uh, that's actually a good super. Good super and a good relic, so Machina is useful for something. Deuce's Super, Prelude, Party, Last Stand, Magic Blink, and High re Regen. Rem, this is... The first time we've seen your super and Deuce just blows you out of the water with this, because this is actually a pretty good super as well. So what are we looking at here for distribution? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So these two supers actually have a uh, 2%. They are twice the rate. Uh, this is, I believe, the last banner that this is going to, um, this is going to occur on. Now Machines is not that bad. You don't mind getting dupes of this. You do mind getting dupes of the dancing daggers. You don't mind getting this in the first place, because uh, really, that's. I, I can see this super being useful in some situations, but it's definitely Earth Armor. Earth Armor is a thing. Even with the upcoming Final Fantasy V banner, it's still worth something. Though if, you know, if you're pulling for Earth Armor, I would definitely exp er, um, suggest going on the Final Fantasy V banner instead. So this banner format stinks. And not only does the banner format stinks, but the banner's actually pretty bad too. Which is unfortunate, because Rem's USB and Deuce's Bristol Break are actually quite good. If if it was more than just those, and all three of the Legend Materia being really not that useful, if, if there was some value to be seen in here, then okay. I can see pulling for Rem or Deuce. But this banner is just empty. It's empty. So we'll move on to Banner 2. Uh, Imperial Tarot. Ace. OSB. OSB on a good character is a good thing. Hello, Tara. Uh, Ace is an A-tier fire character. 
in my eyes, and uh, getting an OSB for a character that good is a good thing. So one single target and multiplier increases in front row, of course it does. But I, I don't I don't get this mechanic with Ace. He is like the epitome of, of a back row character in uh, in Type Zero. There's nothing you want it. Is there anything you you want to do with Ace? That you would want to be close up to enemies? I feel like he's super long range. So it's a 37.5 multiplier when not in front row versus 42.5. And I think in a lot of situations it would just be worth taking the 37.5. Uh, so, uh, Flem Flembear. Queen. USB Divine Judgment. That sounds intimidating. Send single target lightning dark. Uh, and lightning, self attack and defense plus thirty percent, and quick cast spell blades. Okay, so now I'm seeing where the the trance is useful on Queen because this is an issue to me. Quick cast spell blades means that she will not quick cast her USB. So if you ever wanted to recast her USB, it would attack. It would cast uh, at normal speed. I'm gonna look at Enlier's for this. What if you like playing Ace, Shimra? Okay, so attack and defense plus 30% to the user, grants attached lightning and spellblade coolcast. Spellblade coolcast is exactly what it sounds like. You half cast time out spellblades. So uh, trigger or trance is actually kind of nice. Because that will improve the, the cast speed of her, her USB and later on she gets an OSB. So you'll want it for that too. But as far as the USB is concerned, it's just, think of it as a quick cycle. Um, but it has an attack and defense plus 30% buff, which is nice. It's better than an X mode, at least. Um, I'm gonna check something. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't high quick cast. Uh, so Queen's an A tier character in my eyes. Uh, next up we have Ace's old USB, which is a good fire quick cycle USB. And it has a, a flavor chase on it. Which for some reason people think is the primary focus of the USB, which it is not. It's a quick cycle. Oh, it's not even a quick cycle. Uh, just cast speed times two. Correct, Ricky. That's... That's good. You know, uh, Ace can turn into a hell of an entruster, or an entrust target, with his OSB and USB. Because he gets that times two cast speed, just like Terra does. The Terra's Terra's difference here is uh, her her trance mode on her LM two, but Ace has a great LM two as well. He starts the battle with haste and Instacast three. Um, but because he has that that pure times two cast speed, he would make it a good good entrust target if he had his uh, OSB. So at least the, the top end of this banner has three good things on it. I don't believe that... Yeah, it's RS fire damage up. 
All right, moving down further on the banner, Regal Crown for Queen, Burst Soul Break, Mana Sphere, 8 single target, Lightning Dark Ranged, Party Critical 50%. That's actually a good, good burst. And Tara's USB lasts 10 seconds longer, that's true. Uh, her commands are, well, Dark Bargain, that's a good command. Uh, probably don't care as much about this one. Anyway, that's a pretty, actually a pretty decent burst. Usable on the right parties. Uh, Ace's burst is interesting in that it is a zero cast time. Physical blink? Uh, that has a powerful first command. Because it gets an extra attack if he's in the front row, right? So it gets five attacks and it's short cast time. So it's actually pretty good. And it has a magic... Uh, oh, that's not magic barging. Uh, lingering spirit. Uh, the same buff that uh, Sid Reigns has on his second command. So uh, Ace's burst is actually pretty good too. And now, now we get to some poop. We get nine... Uh, Javelin 13... No, RS wind damage up. Um, well, at least it's M wind, but it's just... The problem is, uh, unless you have an instant jumps mechanic in the game, uh, I don't think there are any good Dragoons. So even with M wind and Ari using Ar Aerial Dive or uh, Sky High, he's just, uh, he's just not going to do a whole lot of DPS. Too slow. All right, Legend Materia. Low chance to double cast lightning abilities. Good. Queen's Summer Uniform. 15 lightning damage up. That is that is good. Ace, Legend Materia, Spiral Breaker. Low chance to self blink when using magic abilities. Interesting. Probably not useful over his Legend Materia 1. Uh, nine. Heavy Lance, 16, Aura, small wind damage up. Uh, low chance to minor imperial wind enemy using junk, jump attacks. Uh, because he attacks so slow, this is actually just not that useful. All right, and uh, three supers again. And remember, these two supers have a double rate compared to everything else on the banner. Zero cast time, lightning dark, party Asuna. Sounds useful. Uh, zero cast time is always going to be a hit. And party Asuna. It's not party status blink, unfortunately. But zero cast time. I like that. Uh, Ace. Medica. It's fine, <laughs> I suppose, for submission stuff. Uh, nine's ruby shield. Defense plus 100% to party. Protect and shell. Again, more submission stuff. None, none of this is really all that useful. Uh, so, I am a bigger fan of this banner than I was the first. Not only do we have three good six stars on the banner, but we have two actually decent bursts as well. Uh, and some decent legend material to go with those characters. Well, I guess not really. We have one for Queen, and it's lightning armor as well. Uh, I still unfortunately think that there's not enough going for these banners because so much of the the percentage is taken up by supers on each banner. So even though this banner has a good top end, it you're just you're setting you're setting yourself up for disappointment most likely unless you personally can find a lot of value in getting these two supers. Um, yeah, and that would be it. death to this banner format. That's my... That's the verdict. Death to this banner. No, it's not a distant preview, so... Alright, I'll do animations. They're fun.
Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't mention the the next banner. I'll do that first. I'll do animations first. Or not animations after. So type zero does get another event eventually. Uh, we have this one ETA for next week, January 24th. Head on up to March, uh, April, sorry. And we have another Final Fantasy Type-0 event. And this banner does not suffer from the same format. Yes, there are supers on it, but this is actually part of the format. Um... Anytime new characters are introduced, they get introduced with a single one of their soul breaks. And the, the nice part, or super soul breaks, and then the nice part about these supers is they only take up one slot on the banner. They don't take up two like the, the one that we were just looking at. So there are 14 relics on this banner that all take up one slot, or 1% 1 of those 14. Okay, so four, six stars. Uh, King's USB is Machinist Ability Double, that's awesome. Sync's USB is good, weird, but good. Rem's USB, which we already established was good off of the current event, and Rem's OSB, and because Rem is a very good character with her USB, makes her OSB very good. And even if you do not have the, the other stuff for her, it's actually still good because it's a mage OSB as well as being a plus holy damage dagger. Well, that's another banner format, Shimra. Very, very far into the future. Um, so all four of these six stars are good. Uh, Sync gets a good Legend Materia. King gets a good Legend Materia. Ace gets his LMR2, which is end fire. Definitely much better than the 25% chance to generate a physical blink on himself. Um, and a lot of fire damage... Holy damage, holy damage, earth damage, and lightning damage. Uh, this is just a really, really good banner. Oh yeah, and King's Super Soul Break on the banner is a zero cast time Imperial Lightning. So it's actually still good as even as a super. I wouldn't call Sinks any good though. Second banner, Nines USB, which uh, is a chase and not any instant jumps. Machina OSB, don't care. Unfortunately, Queen gets stuck on this banner with 9 in Machina. Because OSB would be nice. Deuce, Queen, damn it Machina, you're a disease. And for some reason, even though Machina is not a debuting character, his Super Soul Break shows up on the banner. But you're actually okay with that. <laughs> Because it's it's good. Okay, so the first banner of this event is good. If you were thinking of ponying up for going off going after Rem and making you know getting getting kind of risky, uh, you don't have to. This is this is the much better of the two when uh, it comes for comes to. Uh, pulling for Rem, because she's got an actual supporting cast this time. Uh, more than just Deuce's birth soul break. She has an old banner at her back. Okay, so now I'll go take a look at the... Animations. That's King... Queen, USB. And it is not a huge way. Don't mind Queen Sprite, they fixed it. Thank you, Gemma. It was kind of unique. I didn't mind it. It was okay. 
I like it. It, it, it. it sounds a lot better in the game. That's true. Are you drunk? Sugoi, sugoi. Not drunk enough. Sugoi, sugoi. <laughs> uh, Rem's burst. Rip voice acting. It's cool for a dark bargain. Whatever. You're pretty much using that burst for the 50% crit up to the party anyway. And the entry was fine. Queen Super Soul Break. Our supers go, that was alright. Nothing real all that like blow me away yet. Uh, what do we got here? That's sink. Deuce. Nine. Machina. It's a trap, pillow. Unless you're pulling for waifus. That's it. And even then, most people pull for specific characters, and there's for almost every character on the banner, there are better way or better places to get uh, relics for those specific characters. That's the new spell blade. Oh, well, Makita, your entry kind of sucked, but your chase was good. It's just a rehash of his chase. Good job, you gave yourself stone skin. The burst is not element, an element the USB is. Alright, your super isn't bad, so please have a good animation. Oh god, Rem's in it. The story that no one asked for. That... You had a good Super Soul Break. Rem's USB. All right. 
That was really good. That was really, really good. They knew it was good, so they gave her the pump-up music in the background. Burst Soul Break. All right. What's your uh, now? This is her bargain command. Oh, it's not even a bargain, right? It's white damage up and you know, magic one. Let's see the heal. It's like a dark holy. That's actually awesome. As the Final Fantasy Tactics fan in me approves of the dark holy. And Rem Super Soul Break. Whatever. Plus 10 mines. Yeah, we know what the last stand animation is. I kind of have to see Rem's OSB now, even though it's not on these banners. Rem's USB, I was a big fan of that animation. I wasn't impressed by the charge up, but the actual hit itself was was worth it. Had a good payoff. Yes, Pillow. She is uh, a holy white mage. And a powerful one. So that is going to be in April, most likely. But the one that we're looking at right now, which I can't say I would uh, suggest either of the banners, would be next week, January 24th. Holy Mages are going to be a thing. We got three of them. Uh, not named Reigns or Hope. And that would be Minwoo, Ark, and Rem. <laughs> 